Claire from Creative The Otter Way. I'm an independent demonstrator for stamping up in the UK. More about that later. Thank you for joining me today. Um, what are we making today? We have got a really special little card. Super easy, but full of wow on the inside. Um, shall I show you that first before I get too carried away? So this one was made with the Freshers of Daisy set. I've been playing around with um, some fun folds and just trying to come up with how many ideas you can do with just one fun fold. So this is where this has come from. I'm sure there's lots and lots of versions slightly different from this all out. There may even be the same, but this is mine. Um, I decided to call it a pop-up panel card. And the reason is when you slide the um, belly band off that holds it together, it just looks like a normal gatefold card. Let's move that one out of the way. But you open it out and it's got like a floating panel. So that's what it's like when it stands up. But it's really got a bit of a wow. Especially if you've got a nice sentiment that you really want to be the star of the show. If you've got some beautiful papers like this Fresh as a Daisy paper, that can be the star of the show in the background. Um, really loving this. The new... Um, in colours from Stampin' Up, Boho Blue and Copper Clay. Wasn't so sure about the Copper Clay, but I think it really goes nice on this one. Um, it also folds flat for posting. So postage for us in the UK is going up, which is, wow, don't even get me started. But still you can post a card. There's nothing like receiving a card, especially in the post when you're not expecting it. So that's that one. Um, we're, today we're going to make one with the uh, Winter Meadows. So shall I show you the card first because that's the most exciting bit. So this one, I haven't finished the front. Um, I'll show you the Winter Meadow dies in a bit. But there's some really lovely dies and I don't know if to jazz up the front or just leave it plain and let the, the well be on the inside, build the anticipation. But again, the belly band just slides off. It looks like a gatefold card but inside it's got this absolutely gorgeous paper and then it will stand on the side and just be the star of the show. So if you want your cards to stand out, stick with me. Beautiful, beautiful paper. The blue is blueberry bushel and then I've used pebble path as well for the other side, just so that you get a real contrast when you open it and it is a bit of a ta-da! Um, I'm feeling like it needs a bit of bling as well, so I might stick on some of the sticky um, snowflakes that Stampin' Up! have got out at the moment. I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to make it too thick for posting, but some of those would just be perfect. So that's the second design. Now, if you're um, in the UK, you can get one of these catalogues from me. Um, if you're elsewhere, go and find your nearest demonstrator. Um, they'll be full of joy to, his, get, um, to speak to you. And there will be loads of things inside that you are gonna love. Not only is it good for new products and new crafty things, if you know about Stamping Up, you know that they're really good about coordination. So, what happens is, this is the winter, well it's a magical meadows bundle, I keep calling it a winter meadows bundle, but you get a stamps and a dice set. But if I turn the page, just one, I've turned too many, there is so many ideas with all the paper. Now you can buy it as a winter meadow suite, where you get everything. You get some sticky jams, some sparkly, beautiful, beautiful snowflake paper, some gorgeous ribbons, as well as the stamp and dies. You can see the dies there and the stamp. Um, but the paper's along here, and Stampin' Up! are really good at coordination. Um, one of the reasons that I fell in love with their stuff. So it's got the colours of the paper along the bottom that's actually in the papers. So let me show you the papers. We will get crafting, I promise. Look at that. Wasn't it worth the wait? Beautiful paper. That's just got the most gorgeous blueberry bushel in it. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see that, but look at that deer. It's just so mo misty and moody looking. And there's a tree one here, some berries, 
and another true one there. So this, you get 12 sheets of 12 by 12. Um, so plenty for you to be crafting with. Right, shall we get crafting? I feel like I've waffled enough. So what do you need? Let me bring that one over there so you can see. This really just starts off as a, a normal base card and then we put a few score lines in, add a little mechanism and it's a ta-da card with a big wow on the inside. So you're not going to use up loads of your stash. You can add as much to it as you want and really make it your own. But the basic um, card design is very, very simple. So take a screenshot of the sizes. I've tried to do... Um, centimeters as well as inches so i will move that out the way um, and bring in my paper and card so i have decided to use this sheet of paper okay just because i think it will make a nice scene in the background um, and i've picked out some colors from it i'm actually going to use garden green which is a little bit brighter then what's in it there's some shaded spruce in there and I was going to use that but actually I want I want the green to really stand out so I'm going to use some garden green because that's also in there as well and again I'm going to use some pebbled path for my layers so I'm going to do the base card first now I've got an A4 sheet although actually this looks slightly smaller than an A4 let me just check the sizes so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks along the way, so I'll try not to waffle too much, and I promise we will make a card. Yeah, that's a little bit shorter. So if I had an A4 sheet, just, let's just use this. So you are going to need a piece that is eight and two inches. So eight and two inches by five and seven eighths okay i'm just going to talk you through the inches sizes but if you screenshot the sizes before you'll be able to work the centimeters out fairly easy so your base card should be five and seven eighths by eight and two eighths okay now you're going to have the longest bit at the top along here um, because we're going to do three Score lines. So the first one we're going to do, weirdly, is the middle one, which is four and one eighths. So you find the four there, slide your paper along to the four, and then one eighth is two little lines just past that. So it's actually ten and a half centimetres. So we're going to score that, not cut, using my Stampin' Up paper trimmer because I've got both a score line and a cutting blade just sometimes I cut instead of score and then I'm a bit stressed <laughs> so that's now made that card in half okay so that's my score line now I also need to do each side of the card in half so the easiest way to do that is to do two and one sixteen so find the number two so I've laid my card up to the two inch and then just go to one line after that. So just one little line and score it. Okay. And then what I do is I flip my card round to the side that hasn't got a score line and I do the same with that. I go to two inches and then I go one little line and then I score that. And that is my base card done. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So if I fold along those score lines and just check that they're all roughly the same, that is what I'm left with. Okay, now that is it. We're just going to do a little mechanism to go on here and then we're going to decorate it. It couldn't be simpler. So, to do the mechanism, we need another piece of card. Now, this little piece of card just needs to be three inches. So I'm going to chop that off at three inches. Again, cut in. And then it needs to be by three quarters. So, three quarters, just like that. 
make sure I get the right piece. And then we're going to score it on either end at half an inch and then one inch. Okay, so half an inch and one inch. And then I'm going to flip it round and I'm going to do half an inch and one inch. So this is pebbled path, the colour that I'm using. If you see anything you like, you can go to my website or creativetheotterwave.co.uk to purchase from me um, and you won't regret it. So there's our little mechanism. So all I've done is scored half an inch and one inch and then I keep that piece flat, fold one end in, fold it back like that. So you end up with that shape. So we're going to glue this into the middle of here or roughly the middle. Now we need to put glue on these two tabs here. Now there's a couple of ways you can stick this in. You can do it one side at a time or you can do it both together. Um, because I'm using Tombow glue and you've got a bit of wiggle room, I'm going to do them both together. So before I glue it, I'm just going to check that that just is all folded flat and it meets but doesn't overlap. Just put some glue on there and you're aiming to get this score line in the middle so somewhere around there okay and just hold it and then just to check you are in the middle just fold it up and it should look like that okay so fold it back down flat and just press it in place and that is your mechanism done amazing and now we just get to decorate the card this is a really good mechanism to use on any of your cards um, just to make them pop off the page a bit so I am going to do a border around each panel in garden green so I'm going to cut that next so they need to be well I tend to do mine about an eighth of an inch smaller just so it's just framing the paper so you're going to need four panels of these that are four and six eighths or four and not four and six eighths sorry five and six eighths so five and three quarters five and three quarters which that exactly is wow and it needs to be one and fifteen sixteenths again sounds really complicated but take it up to the two inch and then go back one line okay and that gives you your first panel so before you cut any more just layer it on and have a look yep perfect so if you're happy with that go ahead and cut three more so it's five and three quarters by one and fifteen sixteens so three okay so that's my little panels and then I need some DSP or designer series paper to go on the top of my card panel so let me bring back the paper now I've got a massive 12 by 12 sheet where do I even begin okay so I'm going to get this piece and I want it to be so that the panel is covered by the paper like that, like that. Mm, this is tricky. This side seems to be a bigger pattern than this piece. So I'm going to go with this piece and I'm going to chop it right across. So what I'm thinking is, by the time I've got one panel, two panels, three panels, four panels, this would be the best area. So I'm going to turn my paper and I need the paper size to be five and five eighths. Okay, so five and five eighths is the paper. So I'm just going to cut a panel off at five and five eighths. Okay, so it gives me a bit more of a workable thing one two three four so now I'm going to cut four panels at one and thirteen sixteens okay 
So to do 13 sixteenths, I am going to the two inches and then I'm going back three. Am I going back three? I think I am, yeah. One, two, three. Let's do one. See if it fits and then we can breathe. Okay, so that was, I went back three little lines. Yeah. Whew. Perfect. And I'm going to do the next one. Okay, so that's going to go on that one. And then the next one. Two, three. And then the last one. One, two, three. Lines back. No. One, two, three lines back. Three lines back. And that's the third one. So I'm left with that piece. Okay. So let's bring these panels over. So if I line them up side by side, you can see that it builds a picture. Okay, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and glue them. The first thing I'm going to do though is on my paper, there's like a white core all the way around. So I'm just going to go over the edge, just rub the felt along the edge just to get rid of that white core. It just gives a nicer finish to your cards. Just it looks just looks nicer, it looks neater. It looks just gives an extra layer of quality to your cards. And just makes the designer series paper merge into the coloured card rather than sitting or looking like it's sitting proud of it which looks much nicer especially if you're giving the card to somebody special or you're selling your cards okay nearly there this one is done and then I'm going to use my Tumbo glue just to stick them all on. So I've been with Stampin' Up, ooh, I think it's eight or nine years now and honestly don't know where that time has gone. I was never going to do demonstrations, was never going to do any workshops, just wanted to buy for myself um, didn't have any friends that were into crafting. Uh, I've got a disabled son and it was a bit of therapy for me. Um, that's how I started doing it. Um, and then a friend asked me to teach her how to make something. And then a couple more did. And it just sort of snowballed. Um, and now that's my favourite bit teaching others how to make the most of their stash really um, we spend a lot of money on our craft stuff and it's really important to get the most out of it there's nothing worse for me than somebody buys something and then it it just gets put in a cupboard and they don't use it so if that's you get in touch I will help you use it um, there's loads of videos on my YouTube channel I try and make them as simple and easy to follow um, but with a nice wow so you end up with something you're really proud of that you've made I love that um, there you go so that's the four panels so let's put those side by side that was super easy to do that one looks like it's upside down there okay so we bring our card back in and what we're going to do is we're going to stick the two middle panels on first and they're just going to cover up the mechanism. So I'm just going to put some glue on them and then all you will see is the bit that's poking out. You won't see all the workings behind. So that just goes, just tucks over the bit that's stuck. And if you concentrate on one bit first, so trying to line up the bottom bit and then oh just not the camera sorry and then go up from there so that is definitely the next bit so that goes up that bit 
Oh, that was lucky. I nearly glued the wrong bit. I would have been crying. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I would have just laughed. Make silly mistakes all the time. Okay, so this one I'm going to turn it sideways so I can see it a bit more because otherwise I'm going to knock the camera again and you're going to feel like you're going dizzy. So there's that one. Can you see how it goes across to there? This one's going to go there. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see that from the video. It's really gorgeous. It's making me feel quite festive. There's some um, beautiful stuff in the catalogue this time. Honestly, I think I just keep changing my mind. My list changes. Do you do that? I have a list of, oh, I must get that. And then by the time I go to order, it's changed. And then when it comes, when it's delivered, I'm like... Oh, where's the ones that I thought I ordered? It's never, never what I ordered. I just had an order come and there was no decalled circles in it, which is new in the catalogue. And I was like, where's those? They must have, they must be on back order. And no, I just hadn't ordered them. There you go. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. So that's our panel for the outside. Now, when we put it in an envelope to post it's going to come round like that so we're going to decorate the two front panels as well shall we do that now um i'm not sure so we have a choice we can either do this color which will be like that which is actually quite nice it's more better than i thought before or we've got this gray color which is going to be like that i actually think i like this color even though it's on the grey, I think that goes better. So I'm going to cut two panels from that. Um, let's have a look. So these need to be five and five eighths. Oh, do they need to be five and five eighths? They need to be five and three quarters, don't they? Mm, let's have a look. Have we got enough? Actually, I might do it what it is so that's five and five eighths so i'm going to do five and five eighths by one and 13 sixteenths so the same size as the dsp in the inside oh yeah that's nice okay so when you're cutting your dsp actually cut six pieces um the designer series paper because then you will be ready. You won't have to do cut some more like I am. Okay, let's get this on the front. And then we can do that pop-up panel. So, that one's going to go there or there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now, what do I need to colour the edge of a grey? So I need the pebble path one this time because it is going on the grey paper oh that looks almost black on there how is that gonna look although when it dries it will dry to the gray so that'd be fine now this one so have you started your christmas crafting i know as crafters we're supposed to start in july but i just couldn't do it this year i've been doing 10 christmas cards a month um and that's been hard through the summer but now I'm back on it, so um, expect a video of that coming soon. All sorts of videos. Very into gift boxes for Christmas, so excited about what I can make with those. Does that look alright? Yep. So let's put some glue on there. So hopefully you're still with me. Don't forget you can go to my website, creativeyourtoway.co.uk. You can shop with me there or you can read what craft events i've got coming up you can join up to my newsletter and that will keep you informed all about stamping up special offers um, i do a, a weekly newsletter where i chat to you all and share some photos of makes and and different thing bits and bobs that are going on so um 
it's quite a lovely friendly little group so go to the website and find me okay so that is the outside of my card that's the inside of my card I'm going to need a belly band. I haven't got that card with me, but basically I just cut off a one inch strip of card. So, oh look, there's a green bit here. I'm not going to do it in green. I think I'm going to do it in grey. But there's a one inch strip and I just wrap it round like so. Overlap it there and then cover this in DSP, designer paper or anything really. There's another sentiment, but that's how I would do my belly band. Now, the inside, because I feel like I'm, I've been going on such a long time. I have got these countryside corners, dies. Um, you get loads you get in a set. And I picked these two, maybe these two. Because I really wanted it as well. So on this one, I die cut the background one. And then I die cut this one, stamped it. And that is my floating panel. And I did the same with the daisy card as well. So that was the same, the countryside in. Because this is a Christmas one, um, the countryside in dies are current, so you can find them um, that's stamping up. Uh, because this is a Christmas one, I've got a new die that I'm absolutely in love with. It's Christmas classic dies, and it's this one here, okay? Looks nothing, but when you die cut it, Ta -da! look at that now i thought about layering it with silver because i really love it um but i think it gets a bit lost so i'm just gonna do that and then also in the die set you get this square that fits inside so i've already die cut that and stamped with the stamp set um the stamp set is from the magical meadow so i've used these stamps here look at that those trees that's what I used on that one um, so that's going to go on there and then I felt like it needed a bit of something else so I am going to die cut these bits and stick those on as well I actually going to do quite a few more so what how do I stick this on really simple just put some glue on there just on that while it's flat and then just line this up where you want it. So, and this fits perfectly inside the card. So there's that bit. These are gonna go on with some dimensionals. Okay, so I've got some of those as well. I stamp it first and then I'll put the dimensionals. Now I'm putting my dimensionals in the middle. Okay, I'm not putting them around the edge because I haven't decided what bits I'm going to die cut yet and I want to tuck them in. So what I mean by that is that's going to go like so and then I'm going to die cut lots of these little bits and I'm going to tuck them behind. So I don't want loads and loads of um, dimensionals to stop me doing that but basically that's it that's your card so you fold it flat with your belly band round open it out and it stands up like that Ta -da! so if i bring those ones in as well which one are you loving from the magical meadows set i think i really like this one because it's christmasy um thank you for watching thank you for putting up with me talking to you um like you're in the room it really feels like you are if um, you're a fan of what I've been doing you can find me on Instagram or on Facebook at creative yachtway um, just creative the Ottaway. the website is creative the Ottaway .co .uk. Um, see you soon happy crafting <laughs>